Hello and welcome to the Liquid Avatar Verifiable Credential Ecosystem Demonstration. My name is RJ Reeser. I am the Chief Business Development Officer and I'll be showcasing a platform we believe will help us get back to the things we were doing before the pandemic. We have partnered with Vector Labs, an Ontario licensed laboratory, and in DCO Tech, the provider of a global blockchain network for decentralized identity services. We're going to provide a secure peer-to-peer -peer network to share the results of a COVID test that preserves privacy and prevents fraud. This is not just a digital representation of a lab test. These are verifiable credentials based on an international open standard from W3C, which means they have the same level of security as cryptocurrency, unalterable once issued and biometrically bound to your identity. There are three players in the ecosystem, an issuer, a user holder, which could be an individual or an entity, and a verifier. All credentials are held in a wallet that is created when you download the Liquid Avatar app from one of the app stores or through one of our partners. These wallets are secured by the Indicio Identity Blockchain and biometrically accessed. In this example, I have already created my wallet and secured it with my biometrics. I've also chosen the level one verifiable identity credential, which is a verified email credential. Okay, now that we've logged in, we've landed on our home page here on the left hand side. Now we want to focus on today just the credentials, just the verifiable credentials. As you can see, we already have the level one identity credential, which is a verified email credential. This app is connected to the Indicio identity blockchain. So it took a second for it to go to the blockchain and confirm the credential and validate it and then bring it back. And that is this email validated credential that you see. If I click on it, it shows me all of the attributes of my email credential. Go ahead and hit cancel. Also on the screen, you'll see the other pieces of the trust triangle. These pieces are connected to the blockchain as well. On the top here, we have Vector Health Labs, which is the issuer of the ver verifiable credential. Below, we're gonna have a verifier. It could be your workplace, it can be your venue. And so what we'll do is we will connect with the issuer Vector Labs. We've created an appointment with Vector Labs they sent us an email with a link to download the app. We download the app, created our account. When we show up for our appointment, we'll scan the QR code. Vector Labs is asking to connect with our blockchain agent. So the incoming connection is requested from Vector Labs. I would click accept. And now I am connected to the Vector Labs agent. Vector Labs would then sign me in for my appointment. They would click on my identification from the wallet, and then they would an enter the additional information needed in their system and based on their jurisdiction. They would then go through the process of performing a test, and they would click on issue test ID credential. So we type in the credential details as needed. And all of these credentials that you see here are gonna be based off of the Cardia uh, project, Linux project, um, that we're a part of, and we're updating those credentials now. So as you can see, we issued a test ID credential from Vector Labs, and I'll accept it. And so as you go and you refresh your wallet and go back into your wallet, you'll see that not only do I have my email validation, um, a validated credential, but I also have my test ID as well. I can click on my test ID and see that it was just issued to Jane Doe, and I can see the date as well when it was issued. So then the next step is that the lab gets the results back, and they would then type in again the details for the credential. And we're gonna type in a few more this time, but they'd go through and fill out all this information. Um, so we'll do eight, slash uh, 21 and we will go ahead and give us and I think it's this field I want to fill out a negative result 
and submit. This is coming from a licensed uh, lab here in Ontario. And so they would fill out that information. It wrote the credential to the to uh, and verified from the blockchain. And then on the left hand side on the app here, the credential came through from Vector Labs and it's my COVID-19 results and I would accept them. So now when I refresh my wallet and go back in, I will have my edit identity uh, credential with the email and then I'll also have my test ID and my COVID lab results. If I click on my lab results, you can see the date here at the top and then also information that I just filled in. So now I'm able to download a wallet to hold all of my verifiable credentials, set an appointment with a licensed lab, perform a test where I get a test ID and then I would get the test results credential that it can only be accepted by the user or entity that has that test ID. Now I want to go out and either go to my workplace or my venue. So I can click on scan to enter and this QR code would be at the entrance of the restaurant or the entrance of my workplace and they're just simply asking for a health credential. And so the connection request comes through as the workplace and venue and click accept. And now we're going to go one step further. We're showing you how we put the power of uh, in the hands of the user they can decide not only which attributes but also which um, credentials are shared with the individual so they are in full control of their PII so as you can see the venue is wants to confirm the name and also the COVID test I can click down and say do not share um, also the same thing is true with the uh, COVID PCR test. I can click down and I can have options of not sharing. It would defeat the purpose because they're asking for my COVID credential. But that's the power that we put into the hands of the user to decide what data is shared. And then you can hit send. So I'm sending the proof over to the workplace. And now you can see they have Jane Doe, negative result. The date was 814. And then I get a message that says credential was successfully verified. So you can see how this is sitting on blockchain using cryptographic security for your identity. It is also biometrically securing your wallet. So only you with your biometrics can access to your wallet. And you can see that how you received an identity credential. Use that to go ahead and get a test ID and a test results credential. And then use that credential to get access into a workplace or venue. So that was the complete demo. You saw how we were able to issue an email credential, verifiable credential, a test, and a COVID-19 lab result, verifiable credential. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to liquidavatar.com. And thank you for your time.